Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make the best cheesy chicken chimichangas. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 3 pounds of chicken breast, flour tortillas, 5 chile poblanos, 1 Anaheim pepper, 1 bell pepper, 1 chile serrano or jalapeño, a handful of chopped cilantro, a small piece of onion, two limes, eight ounces of medium cheddar cheese, 15 ounces of enchilada sauce, one and a half cups of milk, three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of New Mexico chili powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cumin, two minced garlic cloves, and oil. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by making our marinade for our chicken. So in our large bowl, we're going to squeeze out our limes. So we're just going to get all of our lime juice. We're going to add four tablespoons of olive oil, our chopped cilantro, our minced garlic and all of our spices. And we're just going to whisk it together. All right, so once we have our marinade, we're going to add our chicken. And I already cleaned out my chicken and I sliced them in half. So just make sure that you coat your chicken with the marinade. Okay, so once we have our chicken, now we're going to let it marinate for about four hours or at least 30 minutes. All right guys, so 30 minutes before we cook our chicken, we're going to get it out of the refrigerator and now we're just going to roast our chiles. So make sure you roast your chile poblano and your Anaheim pepper. Just make sure your chiles are completely roasted. All right guys, so once our chiles are fully roasted, we're going to transfer them into a plastic bag or Ziploc bag. Okay, we're going to seal our bag and allow our chiles to sweat. All right guys, so after 15 minutes, we're going to begin to peel our chiles. Just get them out of the bag and just peel them. And you also want to remove the stem and seeds. All right guys, so once we have our chiles all nice and peeled, um, now we're going to cut our chile poblanos into small strips. Okay, then flip them to the other side and cut them in half, just like that. All right guys, so the Anaheim pepper, we're going to dice it into small little pieces. Now, this is going to be used for our sauce. All right, so once we have our Anaheim pepper all nice and diced, we're going to transfer into a small little container and we're going to set it to the side. All right, so now we're going to grab a small piece of our bell pepper and we're, go we're going to dice it. All right, so once we have our pepper, nice and diced. We're going to transfer it with our Anaheim pepper. Okay. And the rest of our bell pepper, we're going to cut into small strips. Okay, so once we have our bell pepper nice and cut, we're going to transfer it with our poblano pepper. All right, so now we're just going to dice our onion and chile serrano or jalapeno. All right, so once you have your onion, set it on top of your bell pepper. And just do the same to your um, chile serrano. And you can remove the seeds if you don't want your sauce to be spicy. All right, so once we have our chile serrano, just transfer it with your onion. Okay. And now we are ready to begin cooking. All right, so now we're going to grab our griddle and we're going to set it on medium heat. And we're just going to wait for that to heat up and then we can begin cooking our chicken. All right, so I'm just going to spray a little bit of avocado oil. All
Okay, so we're going to place our chicken. And we're going to cook our chicken for seven minutes on each side. All right, so after seven minutes, we're going to flip our chicken over. And we're going to cook that side for another seven minutes. All right, guys, so after seven minutes, check your chicken to make sure that it's fully cooked. Um, now we're just going to remove it from our heat. Okay. And just cover it with foil. Okay. Just going to get rid of all this burn left behind. And now we're just going to repeat the same process to all of our chicken. Okay guys, so once we're done with our chicken, we're going to get ready to cook our poblano and bell pepper. All right, so I'm just going to spray more avocado oil. I'm going to cook my bell pepper first. I'm going to cook it for three minutes. All right, so after three minutes, we're going to add our chile poblano. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. So now we're just going to cook them both together for a couple minutes. All right, so after two minutes, our chile rajas are done. So now we're just going to turn it off and we're going to set them to the side. All right, so now our chicken is ready to be chopped, so we're just going to chop it into small pieces. And then transfer it with your chile and rajas. So just make sure that you get all the juices from your chicken. And now just mix the chicken and the rajas together. Okay, so our filling is done. So now we're ready to work on our chile queso sauce. All right, so now to make our sauce, we're going to grab our pan. We're going to set it on medium low heat and we're going to melt our butter. Alrighty, so once our butter has melted, we're going to throw in all of our diced vegetables. And we're going to cook them for three minutes. All right, so after three minutes, we're going to throw in our flour and just mix it with the buttered vegetables. All right, so now we're going to pour our milk and just whisk. And we're also going to add our enchilada sauce. Now, if you can't find this enchilada sauce, you can use this one as well. Okay, so now we're just going to whisk them together until all sauce has thickened up. All right, guys, so after five minutes, this is what our sauce should look like. And at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. And now we're going to add our shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, so just mix it until the cheese melts. All right, so now we're just going to give it a couple minutes. All right, so after a couple minutes, our green chile cheesy sauce is ready. So now we're just going to set it on the lowest setting on your stove and set it to the side. All right, so now we are ready to make our chimichangas. So we're going to grab a small frying pan and we're going to set it on medium heat. And we're just going to wait for it to heat up so we can add our oil. Okay, so I'm just going to add corn oil. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that oil to heat up. And now we can just begin rolling our chimichangas. All right, so now I'm just going to grab my tortillas and my Mexican style shredded cheese. And I'm going to add some cheese on the bottom, just like that. And I'm just going to grab my filling. Okay, now we're going to roll like a burrito. Okay, just 
just like that. We're going to set them to the side and just repeat the same process to all of our tortillas. All right guys, so once we have our burritos ready, now we are ready to fry them. Now with the mixture in the way I made them or how big I made them, I'm able to make about 10 burritos. Okay, so now we're just going to throw in our burrito in the oil. And we're going to fry them until they're nice and golden. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to flip our chimichanga over. It should be nice and golden like that. And you're gonna be able to see once it's ready, like on the sides. Just flip it over. And now we're just going to fry the other side. All right, so after a couple minutes, our chimichanga is ready. So now we're just going to drain the excess oil and set it on a kitchen towel. And it should be nice and crispy. All right, so now we're just going to repeat the same process to the rest of our burritos. All right, so once we're ready to serve, I'm just going to cut my chimichanga in half and then we can get ready for the fun part. All right, so that's what our chimichanga looks like in the inside. And now we're just going to drizzle our queso sauce. So I'm just going to drizzle my queso on top of my chimichanga. And of course, it all depends on how much sauce you want. Okay, and I'm just going to serve it with the side of rice and beans. Of course, you can add some lettuce, sour cream, guacamole, whatever you want to serve it with. But now we are ready to enjoy our delicious chimichangas. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready, you guys. Let me tell you that this is seriously the best chicken chimichanga you will ever try. Um, I hope you give it a try. So cheers and enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously, super delicious. The chicken, so flavorful, juicy. The sauce is perfect. Of course, if you want it thicker, add one cup of milk, but for me, this is perfect. So flavorful, seriously, the best. So delicious. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make the best cheesy chicken chimichangas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.